Hi, my name is Tim, and in this short video, I'm going to show you the proper procedure for troubleshooting a faulty contactor on a residential air conditioner. And this is the contactor right here in the outdoor unit control panel. Now, the contactor is basically a relay. It has a 24-volt coil that, when energized as a result of the thermostat closing, will cause the two normally open contacts within the contactor to close. And this will supply power to both the outdoor fan motor as well as the compressor. So let's get started. We're gonna go back to the thermostat and ensure that it's calling for cooling. So let's click the selector switch to cool. So turn down the temperature setting. Don't forget to refer to the procedure guide after each step. So we're gonna click okay on the procedure guide. And now we're gonna take a brief inventory of which electrical loads are running. And we can see here that the indoor fan is in fact operating. We can see the blue arrows are spinning. So our indoor fan's running. We're gonna to go to the outdoor unit. And here we can see that the outdoor fan is not operating, nor is the compressor operating. So no, our outdoor fan motor's not running and our compressor's not running. Our next step is to open up the control panel and investigate the compressor. And again, we can see it's not running at this point, so we're gonna click OK. Our next step is to use the clamp-on ammeter to check the current draw of the compressor. You know, it's possible that the compressor is cycling on and off on the high pressure switch due to the condenser fan not running. It's also possible that it's not even running at all. So we're gonna verify this by attaching the clamp on ammeter to the common wire of the compressor motor. Now this is the black wire running from the bottom of the contactor here to the common on the compressor. So click on your clamp on ammeter and place the jaws around the glowing hot spot on the black wire. And when we do that, we see we have zero amps and the zero amps are continuous, so the compressor is not cycling. It's in fact off at this point. So we're gonna click zero amps up here at the top. Now our next step is to check for 24 volts at the contactor coil. Um, and this can be done by simply placing the two meter leads across the coil connections here at the blue wire and the yellow wire. So I'm gonna put them here on those connection points. And when we do that, we can see that we have 24 volts at the contactor coil. Now, before going any further, let's take a look at the wiring diagram. Now, even though the contactor is in the outdoor unit, its coil is actually wired into the indoor unit circuit. So we're gonna click on the indoor unit wiring diagram and we can see the placement of our meter leads right across the coil, meaning we're receiving 24 volts at the coil. This eliminates the high pressure switch, the low pressure switch, as well as the thermostat as a possible cause of this malfunction, and generally indicates that our contactor is gonna be the fault here, but we do need to make some line voltage checks first. So after clicking that you've measured 24 volts at the coil, let's check and see if we've got 240 volts coming in from the disconnect outside. And this would be at the top two connections at the glowing orange hotspots. On the contactor, this is typically gonna be labeled L1 and L2. We place them there, we have 240 volts. So we do in fact have power coming into the contactor. So we're gonna click yes. Next, let's check and see if we've got voltage on the load side of the contactor. And this is at the bottom. And these are the two connections that are feeding directly to the compressor motor and the condenser fan motor. So let's place our leads at those two glowing orange hot spots. And when we do that, we see we have zero volts. So we had 240 in, no voltage out, which verifies the contacts are open, yet we had 24 volts to the coil. So this indicates that the coil is most likely the culprit here. You can always do a resistance check of the coil uh, if you wanted to, to further verify this but we know at this point that it is the contactor. So we don't have 240 at the load side of the contactor. Now to replace the contactor, obviously you're gonna to need to turn the power off. Don't work on live circuits. That could be dangerous. So once we've shut off the external disconnect, we're gonna click on the contactor to replace it. Click replace on the menu and we've solved the problem. Now just a note on commercial air conditioning systems, Larger contactors have replaceable components, but in the residential units, it's pretty much a throwaway contactor. It's a fairly inexpensive component, so no big deal here just replacing it. So after we've replaced it, click OK. Next, we need to reestablish power back to the outdoor unit by turning the disconnect back on and click OK on the procedure guide. And we also want to verify 
that cool air is now reaching the space. And here it is, evidenced by the floor register here. We can see the graphic with the cold air coming off of it. Now remember, if you have any confusion, you can click on this top left icon and you'll be able to see the procedure guide in order. In other words, it's going to summarize each step that we took in this process. Good luck on your future service calls, and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. You can try our on-demand VR-enabled learning for HVAC by signing up for a free trial. Go to interplaylearning.com to get started.